Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule, stop in and see what it is I'm up to. I am back out here at Jacksonville Beach. Uh, I don't know, about 15th South or something like that, South Jacksonville Beach. Uh, I was out here the other day. They are doing a replenishment on the on the beach, and uh, there were some questions on what that's all about. So. We're back here at the exact same spot, same walkover, and they have moved the machine up to here. But as you can see, well, they're not working at the moment. Perhaps they're done. I don't see the dredge ship. I do see down there there's a tugboat probably still holding on to the line there's still a, a, a bulldozer down there but what happens the beaches and the dunes act as a buffer during storms and protect the the buildings not just these big high-rises but the, the homes and whatnot that are on the on the beach so after a couple of big storms well this stuff is a little hokey to walk in after a few big storms you know the beach will, will erode out and uh, it's just you know that's the way nature treats it so about two years ago or three years ago they came through and they totally rebuilt all these dunes all the way along the beach and they replanted uh, I forget how many thousands hundreds of thousands of sawgrass um, and sea oats but then we had a couple of fairly big storms past year or two and it comes in and it washes the beach away so they come in here and they basically pump the sand from out there back in here and build the beach back up so a couple of weeks ago I was out here and about where I am now, I would have been in the water. It was, you know, the beach had been washed away that much. So, they built it up and then they built it out. So that's pretty much what beach renourishment is. Now it's funded in various ways. I mean, I'm not 100% sure of all the different ways. I'm sure it's funded through the tourist industry and and uh, FEMA probably has some money in there and who knows what else and who else is all involved. It's, it's mainly done by the Army Corps of Engineers. So, I mean, it's all paid for by taxpayer money. Money. It just depends on, you know, what agency it comes from. So. Anyway. Oh, it's gorgeous down here today. It's about 72, 73 degrees. Just a mild breeze blowing in off the, off the ocean. Hopefully it's not overriding my camera microphone or whatever or whatever I'm not dressed to even go down there and feel what the water's like it looks like that might be the dredge ship way out there can't really see
somebody down there on a kite. Probably kite surfing. Anyway, I thought I'd come back down here and try to give a little bit more description on what a beach renourishment is. Many people haven't heard about it, don't know what anything about it. So I'll see if I can find the links to, to the other video that I was talking about. And I'll add the video from the other day down below. And of course, there's links in that one too. Um, I guess it was two years ago. I showed a bunch of equipment being drugged down the beach. So, anyway, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is you all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around on your social media, that'd be Fandoculus. If you'd like to check me out on Facebook, Imager, or Instagram, I'll eventually get some links down in the description box. Along with, like I said, other li links to other similar videos and whatnot. You'll also find my snail mail and my email. And uh, it's interesting watching the waves. You can see where you can see where they've been playing with the, with the with the with the beach itself. If you watch how the waves come in and kind of break and come together right here as they're pulling back out again. There's another one right over here. They kind of overlap. Poseidon's going to pull this beach back and make it what he wants, not, not what man wants. So. Anyway, cancer is an insidious disease, people. Doesn't care if you're young or old, rich or poor, male or female. It's going to rock your world. Breast cancer is one of the most prevalent cancers. It's most prevalent in women, but it does affect men, it does affect children. It can present in your armpit or your groin or in your neck. It's not just doesn't just affect the breast. So if you let those to nearby give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook, let them know they think about them, let them know you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, people. Till I see y'all again, I hope you have a fan day. Slash y'all. Bye-bye.